Have you ever wondered what it would look like to drive a $180,000, 35,000-pound tractor off a cliff? Me too. So today, why don't we find out? What is going on guys? Get you one two three out here back with more Beam NG Drive and today we are going to be trying something we've never done before and that is driving tractors off the leap of death here in Beam NG Drive. Now if you are not familiar with this map, you most likely are. But if you're not, this map is utterly insane. I mean just just take a look at this. You can see the ramp at the top and the cliff that lies down below is just I don't even have words for it. It's, it's just absolutely insane. So let's hop back over to our tractor. Let's not waste any time and let's hop right into the first jump. Oh my gosh, I hope you guys can still hear me over the sound of this tractor. This thing is loud. Uh, so let's see how this goes. We're going off the ramp here. Engine torque reduced. Interesting. Okay, this tractor knows what it wants. And ooh, just barely getting off the ramp, tipping and tumbling down below. Ooh, actually a pretty good landing down onto that first rock, but that is where things start to go sour. This next hit's looking like it's gonna be ugly. Ooh, okay, okay, surprisingly graceful. Okay, that one not so much. That one not so much. The real question here though, the real question is, will we be able to make it down to the water below? And I think we just received the answer to that question. Wow, so that thing got pretty beat up there. That thing got uh, pretty messed up, but we actually have a bunch of tractors here to test out today. Let's take a look at our vehicle list. Uh, you can see that we've got also not only some John Deere's, but a few Case IH's. So you know what? We can always go back to the John Deere, but let's hop right over to the Case IH. Now I've been around tractors before. To those of you who are viewers of the channel, you already know maybe that I grew up on a 20 acre farm and so, uh, you know, I've, I've been raised around tractors, I've seen them do their thing, but I've never seen tractors driven off a cliff uh, down into a giant lake of water. Uh, oh my goodness! Holy crap! I wasn't actually sure what exactly was gonna... Wow! My goodness! The John Deere did not deform very much when it crashed, but this one just caught me very off guard by just getting utterly destroyed. Holy. Let's give that one another run. Let's go back to the top, and this time, let's try to hit the corkscrew jump. If we hit it over here on the, uh, the right side, it should send us into a little bit of a twist. A little bit of a twist. Let's see if we can do it here. And oh, these things are not the fastest, but they've got just enough juice to send us off the uh, the tip of the ramp. And it did send us into a decent corkscrew. And so far, the damage not too bad. Oh, okay, I take that back. I take that back. One thing that I do want to see, one thing that I need to see here, we need to see one of these make it down to the bottom. So far, none of these tractors have made it down into the water below. And that's really the goal here. Why? Uh, because I said so. No, there's, there's really no reason to get down to the water below besides just feeling good about yourself. It's kind of like, I don't know, it's kind of like getting a strike in bowling. It just feels so satisfying to watch all those pins fall over. In BMNG Drive, it just feels so satisfying to make it, yes! Unless it goes really badly here. Oh, we almost stopped there. I was gonna say, unless it goes really badly, I think we made it, and we did. Case IH, you just found yourself a watery grave, my friend. A watery, watery grave. But let's go back to the top of the ramp. And so, uh, let's bring up the list of cars again. And I wish, let me see, is there a better way to organize these? What do we have next? We've still got the Case IH Magnum 380 CVT. Did I read that right? I think I did. Uh, so this, this one looks, uh, I guess, I don't know, it looks a lot like the last one. These Case IHs have a good look to them, but let's be honest, nobody's buying a tractor because it looks good. Ooh, ooh, this one's fast. I'm telling you, this one is fast. At least it started up quickly. Oh no! It had such a good, uh, such a good jump off the line, and then I don't know where all the speed went. The RPM started going up. It started shifting, and it seems like all of its torque or something just went right out the door. Uh, and already, oh my goodness! Oh, what's this? 
Looks like we got a nice little bridge there. I haven't played on this map in a while, actually, so... Uh, it has a few new additions that I have not really seen yet, and... Still, still really hoping you guys can hear me over the sounds of this destruction. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna need to turn this down for myself. Whoa! What is happening? Whoa! Oh, what? No! The classic texture glitch. That's how you know the carnage is really bad. That is when you know the carnage has reached the next level. Oh my goodness. Listen to that. Just the sound of squealing tires and this texture, whatever the heck it is. It looks like something just got extremely, <laughs> extremely stretched out. That is ridiculous. Okay, let's go back to the top. Uh, there's something I want to try here. Something I want to take a look at. So when we go to this tractor, I think, I think, I think, I think, we can take a look at this other one. It should have a few different variants. Okay, it does. So we've got wide wheels, front hitch, crazy. Okay, tractor pooling. I don't know why this one's called crazy, but I want to find out why. Let's see. Um, well, aesthetically, I don't see anything about it that makes it crazy. Do you guys? I, I really don't. Uh, let's see here. Is it quick? Ooh, it might be fast. It might be fast. Oh, okay, it's a little bouncy. It's, it's pretty bouncy. Definitely the fastest tractor we've driven so far. Coming off the ramp there at... Ah, uh, I don't know. I was gonna say 78, uh, 78 miles an hour there, but that speedometer is not telling the truth. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> I wish we could see a replay of that. The front end of that thing just disappeared. Let me see if we can reenact that and get a slow motion replay. I should have been using slow motion already. Slow motion is one of the most satisfying parts of this game to just watch these things just get beat in in, uh, you know, 50% speed, alt down, I think, or alt sideways. Let's see, okay, alt down. Eight times slower than real time. Let's see how the case IH takes it. Ooh, not so well. The top of the tractor, the roof of it, the, uh, what do you call it, the roof? The part that goes over the cab just came down, would have killed any driver in it. I mean, well, the driver would have died on impact, but that's all besides the point. Let's not talk about, uh, the, the demise of the driver. Luckily, this thing is driverless. We don't need to worry about that. Uh, Alright, so we're gonna go a third time here on the crazy variant of the Case IH. Uh, let's just try to hit the far right corkscrew. Ooh, not exactly where I meant to hit it. For some reason, this thing is extremely, extremely bouncy. Oh boy. Oh, good landing, good landing. I mean, it's as good as you can land on this map anyway. Oh, that actually took it surprisingly well. I thought we'd have a lot more carnage on that hit. I mean, don't get me wrong. This thing is absolutely totaled. But it didn't have quite the, uh, you know, quite the boom that I thought we maybe could, uh, come to expect there. And one final time. I know I said the last time was the final time, but I want to get just, you know, that extra satisfying crash. If this isn't the extra satisfying one, then what we'll do is just spawn in a new tractor. Oh! Oh! Okay, the damage, uh, the, the damage, what am I trying to say here? The damage factor is pretty high already. Oh, it's only going to get better. This one might make it down to the water. The wheels are decently intact. The wheels are okay. The front ones are getting pretty dinged up now. Oh, I don't know if we're making it down to the bottom, boys. I, I don't think we are. I hope I'm wrong. Oh, oh, we're actually making really good progress. This is the part that decides it. I think we made it. Come on! Yes! All right. Nice. Case IH, I hope you're enjoying this free advertising from me. You can't really beat a, uh, an advertisement for a tractor in this sense. You know, you can try to advertise a tractor all you want. You can show it picking crops. You can show it parks next to a barn. But if you really want an effective tractor ad advertisement... Uh, oh! We still got the Lieber! The Lieber? Lieber? If you want an effective tractor advertisement, what you really want to do is uh, hire get you one two three zero to crash them off a cliff for you. I think that's probably about the best thing you could do. Whoa, the steering on this thing is weird because it has 
What is the type of steering called where it's, uh, its wheels themselves don't really spin? Well, they spin. The wheels don't turn, but the center of the tractor is the part that turns. It's almost like it's a caterpillar or something. Uh, a caterpillar, the bug, that is. Not... Not the skid loader. <laughs> you know, not like the bobcats. We're talking about the actual insect that turns into a beautiful butterfly. And so far, this thing's holding up decently well. I mean, again, as well as it could for going down like a mile high drop off and multiple, multiple rocky cliffs. But all things considered, it's, uh, it's putting on a pretty good performance here. And easily made it down to the water. That was... That was easy. Engine is hydrolocking. Really? I would have never guessed. I kind of wish these stayed down here so that we just had like a watery grave full of, uh, you know, just forgotten tractors. <laughs> but sadly, each time we respawn, they do as well. They go away and uh, it's time to, time to reset. Okay, so this one doesn't have any other variants. Let me recheck the, uh, what was the first one we started with? The John Deere. The John Deere was cool, but let's give it another try. I noticed that the John Deere actually had the least deformation of any of these. Uh, you know, one of the best things about BM... Ugh, one of the best things about Beam NG Drive... Sometimes that game doesn't just... It doesn't roll off the tongue. Beam NG Drive. How did this game get its name anyway? Um, what was I even saying? I don't know. It probably has something to do with the fact that I cannot hear myself speak right now. I'm actually listening to this game with my headphones, and my output volume is... I thought it was in a good spot, but these tractors have super, super loud engines. And I probably should have just fixed it at the beginning of this video, but to be honest, I, I can hardly hear myself speaking right now. But that's okay. I, I feel like I, I can do it well enough. Uh, let's, let's give it another attempt there. Let's give it another attempt. You know, there are a few vehicles like that in Beam NG here that just don't tend to deform like we would like them to. Um, oh, I see, I see, this has the rear steering. I wondered why this thing was so hard to control. Oh, gosh, I still have not learned. All right, we'll let this one go. We'll let this one go. Let's uh, just allow ourselves to see what exactly happens here. All right, getting a good tumble going. Losing, losing a few pieces here and there. Nothing that we can't handle, though. Nothing we haven't already experienced before. There is a bridge down below, though. And slip under the bridge. Cue the Red Hot Chili Pepper song, Under the Bridge, because, well, that's exactly where we are. Okay, what? Was that even the right song? Yeah, I think. I don't know. Once again, tell me in the comments below. Please tell me I did the right Red Hot Chili Peppers song because sometimes their songs are very, very good, but for some reason in my mind they can start to, I don't know, they tend to run together, I guess, to some degree. Having said that, though, they're a very good band. All right, final attempt here for the John Deere, uh, what do you call it? John Deere rotor something, something rotor? I don't know. I don't know. I forget the make and model. It was like the 7770. John Deere, I think that's it for you, man. I think I think it's time for you to go away, John Deere. I think it's time. Uh, so, I think we saw most of the variants here. I think we experienced most of what there is to experience. Uh, did we check the Magnum variants? Ooh, we didn't. There's a few things. Ooh, nice. Double wheels on this case I age. Oh, ho, 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 nice. That is beefy. That looks sick. And it actually turns really far. I like how when you turn the wheels, uh, you can actually see them kind of like already turning, even though the vehicle itself is not moving. Adds a really uh, realistic effect, in my opinion. This game is all based around realism. It seems like they try to make it as realistic as possible. Alright, let's send it into a minor corkscrew. <gasps> kinda missed it. Kinda missed it. Let's do a slow motion impact at least. We can still make this one good. We can still make this one, uh, worth it. Ooh! Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa! The camera there, for some reason, was, like, having a tremor. Wow! Look at the front end of that tractor. It is actually, like, 
Still intact, kind of, but bent off to the side. All eight of these wheels are kind of, uh, ready to fall off, too. Oh! Oh! Okay, okay. Oh, the bridge again! Man, I don't know how I feel about these bridges. It is cool that at least now, on the older version of Leap of Death, I don't think you were able to drive around and explore very much because there just wasn't really a path. So it is cool that this version allows you to follow this path, and if there is a break in the rock or the cliff or whatever, there's at least a bridge that, uh, that you can go over. Alright, so overall, I guess it's a pretty good update. I shouldn't be complaining about it. Uh, I'd say the last time I played on this map was probably... Whew, I don't even know. Had to be around a year ago. Alright, so, let's see here. Let's get in the next variant. I think this is going to be about the final attempt. Well, not really attempt. To call it an attempt would imply that we could somehow fail. But I'd say each one of these is a win. Alright, so this one's not too exciting. This is just a regular stock. Well, is stock the right word? They're all stock in one way or another. Uh, they're not like aftermarket mod, right? No. Alright, alright, here we go. Ooh, too slow! I did think these things would have just a little bit more speed off the tip of the ramp, but that's exactly why we had to try it. I didn't have expectations for this video. I had no idea what to expect. In fact, I hadn't even tested this. I was like, you know what? Let's try driving tractors off of the cliff today. I, I didn't even test it. Like, that's what we are gonna do. And that's what we did. That is what we did. Please tell me we can go out on an uh, all the way down, all the way down to the bottom, all the way down to the water run. As of now, it's actually looking great. Oh, it's looking so good. Looking so good, unless we hit something horrible. Yes! Okay, perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. That is just like the supreme one to go out on, because I don't think it could get much better than that. Uh, yes. Oh, it's beautiful down here, actually. The way the water kind of reflects the light down here, and oh my goodness, you've got a old beat up, beat up, beat up, uh, smashed up tractor or something like that. I don't even know anymore. Let's go back to the top. On that note, guys, I think I need to wrap up this video. I think it's time to wrap this one up. We tested it out. We saw what it looks like when you uh, drive a $180,000 tractor off a cliff. The only thing left to do is, is actually nothing. So, guys, please stay tuned for more videos in the future. Subscribe down below if you enjoyed the video. Remember to drop a like. And on that note, oh my gosh. <laughs> I will see you guys next time.